Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Conqueror's Blade and I'm actually going to be trying out the glaive. I've actually been interested because I've been watching I guess Evo on YouTube and I noticed that he plays a lot so I'm going to join into the new which is Hugh Lung map of the Viking map but I wanted to show you guys what I've been kind of learning a little bit about it. So one of the cool parts is because these are what I'm using for the runes slash critical and piercing damage. But the skills that I was watching Evo use was this skill, the God of Battle. I didn't realize this when I tested it out before, but it gives 10% damage increase to units around you. And one of the things, and I haven't gotten it down yet because I only tried it once, but before you charge, if you actually use the skill on your guys and then charge it, they get that extra bonus when they charge, which does a lot of damage. Which I kind of noticed worked really well when I was trying to expedition with it to kind of get familiar with understanding how to use it. And the other skill that I noticed that he used was this one, I believe. Yes, because it does a really strong hit down damage, which is how I've been insta-killed before. So I am using medium armor. And we're just going to do one game for you guys. Um, I just wanted to show you what I've been kind of enjoying about it. Um, I don't know how well we're going to do. Let's see. I'll just stick with this. I, I usually try to get rid of my green as much as possible first. But anyway, um, let's see if they're using a lot of archers this time around, and it seems like that one, two, five, or now six. So we'll use our front line shields in the beginning, and we'll probably go here. So we'll try to keep more of a defensive position in this fight, like I did last time we uh, two videos ago. I mentioned moving the shields to the side because you don't want them to get a free shot with the trebuchets. Hopefully, this will turn out to be better than that that fight that we were in. But if you guys haven't tried this map, it's actually pretty cool. I like it. And both attack and defense is actually quite fun. It's probably one of the maps I can say that playing either side is actually fun. Because some maps, as you know, if you've played, it's easier to be attacker or easier to be defender. So I was kind of impressed with this map design. Kind of curious why they didn't put any siege weapons in here. Which I thought was kind of rare. Excuse me. I'm a little tired today. Went for a walk. Nice long one. It's snowing. I don't think I've done this when it's snowing. This should be interesting. Okay, let's move these guys over here. And I love the, the E skill on here. I don't know if you guys have ever used it. It's actually really nice. You use that and then you do the Q and you just like you just mess up a whole unit real quick. It's really cool. Here's the first ladders. Ooh, 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 ooh. Lots of arrows. Off my mount. I think that guy just whacked himself. I don't know, it just seems so powerful since I've been trying this out. Just so much damage is incredible, and if you guys have not tried Glaive, you should. 
I'm actually really impressed with it. The only downfall what I do miss is the capability of healing fast enough. So it's a little bit slower in heals because you have to get out of the way and heal yourself up. So that's the difference with the Nadachi, which I loved, was because the Nadachi I can heal pretty quick. And then with the Longsword and Shield the same way. Also been listening to some Viking folklore and, and music. War music is pretty cool. I'm not going to push my units out because I'd rather them push in. We have the advantage, so we might as well let them take the chance to push forward. So if you haven't heard the music yet, <clears throat> the music in here is pretty neat too. Ooh. Oh, they changed real quick. Got some clean hits on there. <clears throat> Push my guys back a bit. What was that guy doing? Why are you moving your pikemen? They got archers. This is where I miss my long sword and shield. Let's get out of the way of range so they can't hit me. Let me slowly heal up a bit. Okay, that works well. Move these guys back here. Because I don't want them to trebuchet. Heal up a bit. So got those archers out there. Oh. Pull them back a little bit more. I don't want them to get positioning on us. Those archers up above. Lost my units. But I gotta heal up.
Ah, uh, Berserkers. Can't get on that point. I don't have enough help. Let's pull off. Even my horse is almost dead. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta hurry, though. Okay, we're gonna bring out our archers. I'm gonna start healing myself. So, yeah, their position, they were able to push on us. You know, all of our guys lost so many units, so that sucked, but hey. Now what I love about these archers is the, the damage I could do with them now, and also the flame damage, which is great against weaker units. Especially other archers and other range. I'm trying to get my horse healed up. General without his horse, like losing a weapon. So I'm not sure how far they're pushing onto C here. I feel like we should help at B, so we're gonna try to go the long way around. I mean, if we can push them off B, I mean, the fact that we have a minute and 30 left, this is, this is definitely a good opportunity for us. Come on. Ooh. Heal up again because I fifty percent. And my archers take a long time to get here. <laughs> ah, thank you. Ooh, ooh. This is good stuff right now. we got him though that guy not bad definitely with a higher group level a little bit but yeah you know that was really cool see that map is really fun i think in defense especially there's such cool like spots you could put archers which is what i was gonna do if we were gonna if they're gonna push c but they ended up not doing it so that was always good mm, i was able to kill somebody first nice <laughs> my only kill actually that's great yeah, it was a little hard because we had to travel all the way across the back line to try to save D or B, excuse me. But yeah, so what I've been liking about the glaive is you notice when you use that, I guess it's the T skill, it gives bonus to damage. So every opportunity, especially when those guys charged, when the berserkers charged, I gave them that and you saw how much they just wrecked people up. I mean, it lasts for like 10 seconds, so it's very useful. So since that actually went kind of quick... We are actually going to jump right back into another one. I think we'll do that.
See, these higher ones I have not tried out yet because they cost three points on there, and I like the blues that I have. That's for the mall. Dachi and Sherpo. Because when you look on here, let's do this real quick while we're waiting. You take out two, then it allows you to have access to these higher ones because you need three spots for them. But we're going to keep what I have set up because I find that probably most useful. I pick critical. Here. My units are pretty good because I only use the two. I'm going to put them in 100. So I did a lot of free play this morning, so I didn't have to pair anything. Kind of nice to do those. Can I lock this? Yeah, I need 900. Because my goal, I think, is going to be this guy. Skill. I think this will be the best because I think it even does like an AoE damage because it says enemy struck or thrown to the ground. So I'm not sure if it hits when it hits that ground, if it, that shattering means it hits anybody in that area, which is nice. And I probably. Probably will give up this skill. Keep this skill. Because I like this skill because it does a lot of AoE damage when it hits. But this one is nice. Like it stuns. Like if I were to do one on one, I definitely would use that. Then again, I'm not sure if I. Not sure if this is actually really useful. seconds cooldown this one's 20 it's 12 i could see why because i think envo evo or whatever his name is i think it's evo i think he uses this and this skill plus this skill but i know he has the skill so i'm assuming because these are only 12 seconds where this is 20 that he uses yeah that makes sense why he does it But when we get to that point, then we'll fix that up. It works, though. I can tell you that. I've watched him kill people with, like, crazy damage. Now the only thing I need to do is work on getting a better glaive so that I can actually do that damage. But all the bonuses you can get... It's really enjoyable. So now we are in attack. So let's see. Get that set up. Okay, so we have right now one range, two range, three range. This guy focuses a lot on range. So I've also learned, I didn't realize after all this time playing, that you can actually build more of one unit, I believe, with any tier. I know you could do it with like the Cirrus and stuff, the white level. But I am kind of curious because, no, well, I think it's only the white ones. That's why people sometimes do militia groups. I wish they would allow for, like, maybe limitations for the rest of them, because I wouldn't mind actually running with, like, two sets of swordsmen with archers. Like I said, I'm working on getting the spearmen so that I can have them for attacking, so, like, this situation. Be able to push in there. So I actually really enjoy attacking 
like I'm more of an aggressive forward fighter than a range, but I've actually wanted to get better at doing range where I can keep my archers from just getting run over because I'm really good at getting position, but sometimes I get too aggressive to the point where my archers are just left out in the open to get wrecked. So I'm trying to not allow that to happen. That's why I'm considering next to probably go for that longbowman. So I can have some range because the longbow I think is the longest arrow core that you can use that has the best range. I mean, the pikeman shield are good for pushing, That you have to play more defensive with them. It's ready here. Look at that. Nicely done, archers. Nicely done. Clean them out. There you go. There is it just hit him perfectly. Our battering ram has breached the gate. Shields up. Get moving. They got wrecked. Pikeman there. I was like, why am I getting killed or hurt so easily? and I died. Oh, we actually got that wall down. I should not have seen someone actually doing that. I'm going to push in with archers. Me. After me. Fire. Up. 
see what it looks like up here. Yeah, you're not going to do that much damage on me, bro. That's what happens when you get greedy. Awesome archers, but it was all worth it. Chance to heal now. That guy got greedy trying to kill me because it, it just needed to hit me once and I was pretty much dead. There we go. Now I can push on that point. Oh. I think my archers are out of ammo. Yes. Someone artillery to me, I believe. Get my guys out of there. There's a way to see how you died, right? Used to have that. Huh. I was pretty sure they used to show you. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I think I got artillery. Man, we don't have a lot of time to get to the next one. Okay, let's see what we could do here. I'm thinking... Ooh. Why am I not getting, getting off? Get off my horse. Well, let me get off my horse. What the heck?
This will allow my guys to have a stronger defense while we tear them up, so this all works. Back up. Get my boys up, get them health up. Uh, I didn't mean to push, keep pushing like that. guy shouldn't have done the trebbing in that moment well it looks like my guys were not gonna be able to get it because they're not pushing to the right they're pushing on these guys and if they're gonna push they need to push to the right to gain position and they're not so bring my archers back in we're gonna push to the right here Like they needed to push C. Uh. Uh. That's what happens when you're too low? Your life's so low that they could just like insta kill you real quick. Maybe they can just get my guys to do something. I want to go where I died. Let's get over to C. There we go. Let's see what's going on here. I don't think my archers could hit anything. Unfortunately, they won't move. Oh, you gotta cover both sides, guys. Don't let them up. See, you gotta cover both sides, otherwise they'll just come in the backside. Can't fill up one hole. There we go. My boys are hitting now. Ooh, this is close. I don't have them run away. Keep them off the point. And we got it. Victory as it should. That was good stuff. Again, he kills up for one, but he got a lot of unit kills, which is good. And I really miss the old balance when it was really balanced. I was making like three kills, four kills, five kills a game. 
actually did really well. I'm proud of my skills this time around. Cool. Well, I think that'll be it, guys. I mean, I'm sorry I don't really comment very often, but I want you to have fun just watching what's going on and just share share with you what I, you know, just having fun. So if you're expecting more commentary, I'm sorry, because, like, when I get into a game, I really focus in it. But I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope this will inspire you guys to maybe try out the Glaive if you haven't done it. And like I said, it's, it's kind of interesting. I was not expecting to like it, but after watching Evo a bit, I can see why he likes it. Um, I still think I like Longsword and Shield a lot more because I play that way, I guess would be more of my style. And I like being able to heal on the run instead of having to like get out of the fight and then come back again, which is so annoying. But overall, the Glaive seems to just, you know, has a lot of power. I like the, the, the damage boost they can give people around you. Because if you notice, it really helped and I've been able to get more unit kills too because... One, my units do better, but two, I do better. I, I do a lot more damage. So, uh, test out the glaive, see what you think about it, and maybe even share below if you come back to check this out. So, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing what you guys think. And if you want to try others, like I, I would say, if anything, the easiest to learn. Let's see. Easiest to learn. Or am I doing skills? Right off the bat, I think I think the long sword would be easiest to learn. I think it's has a, like very smooth skills, in my opinion, and overall could be very balanced to use. But to be honest, one of the ones I did like a lot was Nadachi. I I just like the style because I'm a big fan for samurai swords, and Nadachi has really neat skills that. I thoroughly enjoy um, this skill is great to knock down heroes, especially, especially if they're trying to run away because you get that little dash, which helps. This is just nice to get out of like if you get knocked down, it allows you to get out of um, days on the ground so you can get back on your feet real quick. And this is great because it you basically get healed every time you hit somebody. This one I do like as an alt. I will say that sorry. I will say I do not instant kill anybody with this, and I've never seen anybody really instant kill anybody with it. But if they're low life and they're not paying attention to you, you can really mess them up pretty bad. A lot of people, I believe, use this one. Oh, sorry. This one. And the reason, I guess, is because of that power-up and then you kind of backstep dash into them. But my thing, the only problem with that is if they're paying attention to you, all they, all they have to do is dodge or just be too far away. It doesn't work. So hope you guys have a great one. See you guys later.